Hello everybody, my name is Jacqueline and in today's video I'm very excited because I'm bringing you a full review, demo and swatches of the brand new collection Power Nudes by Jacqueline Cosmetics. Yes, I have got the entire collection, the 20 lipsticks and I'm here to give you all the information, all what you need to know about this beautiful collection. But before we get started, please consider to subscribe to my channel and ring that little notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Now, if you want to know more about this Jaclyn Hill collection and get to see all the swatches of the 20 lipsticks, just keep on watching. As you can tell my friends, I'm super excited because finally Jaclyn Hill decided to launch her cosmetic line and I'm super excited for her. I think this girl really deserves all the success that she's having and I'm really happy that she decided to now have her own brand. She has been in YouTube since 2010. I mean, it has been nine good years on her career here in YouTube. She has done plenty of collaborations, but now she decided to finally launch her cosmetic line and it's called Jacqueline Cosmetics. We thought we follow Jacqueline knew that she was gonna launch her first products were gonna be lipsticks. That's all what she said and we have been waiting for this launch for so long and last week finally happened. So last week on May 30th, JacquelineCosmetics.com was Life. And yeah, 20 nude lipsticks. That seems like a little bit of like too much, but like Jacqueline Hill said, it's not too much because there are so many people with different skin tones and undertones that nudes are never too much because nude, the nude that it can be for me, the perfect nude, it may not be for those who have like a fair skin tone or a tan skin tone and so forth. So I think this collection was very well thought out by Jacqueline Hill. Now this collection comes with 20 beautiful nude lipsticks and they are bullet lipsticks. I received my package today and let me just show you how it comes. So this is the box that it came in. It's actually kind of like a light gray box. It came really well padded with some bubble wrap. And then inside, you will see it has this pattern right here. It's kind of like a mesh type of pattern, kind of like the tights or like body suits that they are like, you know, they look like they have little holes and they are kind of like a fishnet type of thing. Um, that's the pattern that she chose. There are other details too. For example, this tape right here, it has her logo in it. So I really like that she put so much thought on it. Now when I open my package, I receive the Power Nudes 20 piece collection. I decided to buy the full collection, not only for the purpose of the review, but also because I wanted to give you some swatches. And for those who are new to my channel, I do have a light to medium skin tone. I just want for you to see how the colors of these lipsticks look on my skin tone. Now, if you were able to touch the package here, you will see it has the same pattern and texture of the box. Actually, this one has kind of like a quill type of finish, but also it has that net kind of pattern that it looks kind of like little diamonds everywhere. Now her name, Jacqueline, is right here. This is all embossed with kind of like a pearlized silver and a darker silver shade. And it says here, Jacqueline Cosmetics, Power Nudes 20 piece lipstick collection. And it tells you the net weight of each of the bullets, which is 3.7 grams or 0.13 ounces. Now this collection costs $295. It is a lot, but it's actually a savings because each bullet will cost you $18. Now she also came out with trio sets, four of them in total, and they are each $49. Those are already sold out. Same thing with this collection is already sold out, but she is planning to restock them. as. As Jacqueline Hill said, this is her cosmetic line and she's not going to stop here on lipsticks. She will grow her line, which I'm really excited about it because she's an expert on beauty. So that makes me really, really happy. Now, when you open this up right here, you will find 
this little note that it says, you can never have too many nude lipsticks in your life. These 20 rich, pout perfecting shades were made to slay. I really like love this message and it also has the same message in French. I used to take French in a school. I don't know if I can read it properly, but I can try. On ne jamais trop de rouge et le vrai nude dans la vie. Ces ventes tenses voluptueuses vont subliminer votre sourire. Hopefully I pronounced it right and I apologize if I didn't, but I just wanted to give it a try. Now here are all the different shades, <laughs> are they beautiful or what? So let me just take one out here. So this is the little box that the lipstick comes in, it says Jacqueline, same design, everything is very consistent as far as that diamond quilted shape right here, kind of net like I was mentioning to you. At the top of the box you will find the name and the color of the bullet lipstick. On the bottom you will have also a code. Now if you go into the website, these codes right here refer to which type of um, ingredients this specific lipstick has. So if it has a specific red dye, it will tell you exactly which dye they were using and so forth. Uh, also, it will refer to you if you have mica or not. So if you have any allergies on that, you can refer to this number right here so you get to know exactly what it has on that specific lip color. Now let me take out one of these lipsticks right here. The bullet lipstick, it is silver and it has some glitter in it, but it so very soft and smooth to touch. I also have that JH in the middle for the logo. At the top, it has that very famous diamond that Jacqueline was telling everybody about that how hard it was for that diamond to stay on and that she wanted for this diamond to look fancy and not cheap at all. And now at the bottom of the lipstick, you will find the name. So the shape of the prism is actually a hexagon and that's kind of like the top base and then again the weight is 3.7 grams or 0.13 ounces of product package is actually heavy weight it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic or anything like that um i will not call it too luxurious to be honest with you i wish it would have like a magnet but i think she also had it to cut on cost because she's able to bring these lipsticks to us at 18 dollars which is a good price. I mean, this is not a drugstore price, but it's not the price of other lipsticks that we find at department stores or Sephora that they are more into the $25, $30 and up for a lipstick. So this is a good price, I think, for this lipstick. And the package overall looks really, really cute to my point of view. I don't know if I ever say it, but this lipstick is called So Rich. That's the name of the actual lipstick. And the smell, it is a very nice scent. It's kind of like a vanilla cupcake frosting. Um, it's not too sweet. The scent is really nice and very soft. It actually doesn't linger for too long, which I really appreciate because I don't like super sweet scents, uh, neither scents that just stay for too long on your skin and your lips. I just don't like that that much. This set is actually really nice and I don't mind it. So once again, these lipsticks are sold individually for $18 in four different trios. One is called Nude Mood, the other one is called Nude Tease, and the other one is called Nude Moment, and last one is Magni Nude. So those are four different trios. If you purchase $45 or more, you will get free standard shipping. If you purchase less than $45, the standard shipping is $5 and it will take three to six business days to arrive to you. If you wanna upgrade, you have the option and that will cost $12 and your products should arrive in about two business days. And then they also have international shipping. For a standard shipping, international is $20 and your package should arrive between 10 to 14 business days again for international. The good thing about Jacqueline Cosmetics is they also have a nice return policy. So 30 days is a return policy. You receive your package, you will have this form that you can fill out and do your returns as needed, which I very appreciative that she has a return policy because we know 
other brands that unfortunately they will not receive any returns and I think that's a big no-no nowadays so I'm very happy that she decided to actually implement a return policy. I know there has been a little bit of confusion about cheaping. I do own a business where I cheap items and I think that what Jacqueline should have done on her website it is um, as of right now it states the time frame for you to receive your product but she should have mentioned processing time so for example if a processing time for them between pulling the items from their shelves wrapping it packaging printing the label it takes them I don't know say one to two days and then counting from there that cheaping um, I think making that a little bit more clear would have been a little bit more clear for other people that I have heard that they had been waiting. There are some people that have expressed that their package is not arriving promptly enough and another thing that I have noticed is that a lot of the people who have purchased trio sets they have received their package really fast. I live in California and Jacqueline Cosmetics is located in California. I actually made my order on May 30th, the day of the lunch, and it was actually, I ordered it before 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So I check out at 9 and 38 seconds and I just received my purchase today, which is Tuesday, which is not too long. It was delivered by UPS. I mean, it didn't really took that long at all. I think it was pretty much a fast shipping method, but I think a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, the trio sets, they were arriving faster when people like me that I have purchased a full collection, which is a lot more expensive, um, we receive it a little bit later. So I don't know what is the deal, you know, the logistics back there, if they didn't have maybe that collections ready or they just wanted to get the smaller packages out right away. I have no idea about that. So don't quote me on that, but I think overall the shipping was pretty prompt. And if we're looking to the shipping policy at Jacqueline Cosmetics, a website I think it's within that range of the time frame that that they are given now I understand that some people they had paid for two-day shipping and they have not received it as fast so um, I hope that this gets addressed or at least is stated on the website so that people that are making purchases as the products get restocked, at least they get a better idea when they will be receiving their products. Now, a couple other things that I want to mention about Jacqueline Cosmetics that is made here in United States. It is vegan and it's cruelty free, which I'm really happy to hear about that too. Now, about my experience at ordering online, I think it was a great experience, like I said, it was really fast. I was on the website a little bit before and I keep refreshing it and I noticed it that by 8.59 the website was already up so I was able to put my item in the cart and I was able to process my payment. I did it through PayPal and it just didn't took long but like I said before by 9 o'clock and 38 seconds I was already check out and they sent me a confirmation, an email confirmation and I paid the $287 plus tax and uh, free shipping so I paid a total of $317.87 that's how much I paid I know it was a lot but nonetheless I was saving about $3.25 per uh, lipstick because buying the 20 of them each of them costs you $14.75 obviously you need to add the sales tax on that but uh, it was a little bit of a savings and now if you buy the trios you will be paying $16.33 per each of the lipsticks instead of paying $19. So there's, again, another little bit of a savings right there, which I really think it was really thoughtful about Jacqueline Hill because she could have just leave it as is for $18, make her money and that's it. But it really shows that she's really caring for all her followers and the people that are trusting on her, which I think is very thoughtful and a very wise business practice. This. Anyhow, I'm going to stop rambling right now and I'm just going to go over the swatches. The way that I want to do my swatches is I'm going to do first the trio sets. So that way you get to see, okay, this is the first trio right here, like say nude mood and then new tees and so forth. 
Um, that way if you want to buy the trio, you have the swatches kind of like right next to each other and then the rest of the lipsticks I will keep swatching it just as it goes. So now let's just go into the swatches but stay until the end because I will be giving you my final thoughts, review, first impression of all these lipsticks, how they wear, etc, smell and whatnot. So let's just jump into the swatches. Okay my friends, so I'm going to start the swatches with the first trio which is nude mood and it contains these three different lipsticks one is called nude af the other one is amaze balls and the other one is obsessed It's extremely pale so I will suggest to pair it with a lip liner so I'm gonna line my lips so I can show you how it will contrast with a lip liner and I'm gonna be using this um, KKW Beauty lip liner in the shade Love so here's a shade Nude AF with a lip liner again this is KKW Beauty in the shade love this shade right here is more of a shade that it will give kind of like a halo uh, type of look to your lipsticks so it's better if it's applied on top of another lipstick kind of in the middle to just give a oomph kind of impact um, wearing it along on my skin tone i just don't feel that it is the best so you're the one to judge on that You have Nude AF, Amaze Balls, and Obsess. So now going into the trio Nude Moment, it contains again another three shades, and the shades are That Girl, Perfectionist, and Sophia. moment trio we have that girl perfectionist and Sophia next trio I'm gonna be swatching is nude tees and the shades are fussy control freak and hot toddy shade that I find to be a very true cool tone nude not neutral but a really cool tone another cool tone nude and it has a little bit of seems like a 
kind of like reddish undertone to it but again it's fully nude on my skin tone this is the nude tease trio and we have fussy hot toddy and control freak last trio is magni nude and it comes in the shade ambition independent and badass <laughs> Shade Ambition is a very early 90s type of shade, kind of that brown undertone. The Shade Badass has a little bit more of a red undertone to it, but it's still within the neutrals. And I'm going to show you the bottom of the box because my bullet lipstick came without the name but this is the only one and this is the shade again badass and here is the trio magni nude with the shades independent ambition and badass now that we have finished with all the four trios and we have done swatches for 12 of the shades i'm going to finish with the eight remaining shades Isla is definitely more of a pink cool tone. Hassel is more of a warm type of nude. Gossip definitely has kind of like a yellow mustard type of undertone or at least that's the way that it contrasts on my skin. Cheeky is a beautiful nude shade. Very cool tone but not too cool. Very, really pretty shade. This is definitely a warm nude shade. is more of a cool tone taupe shade so the shade mom is really and truly a pink shade and it looks very pretty so this is the shade mom and it actually has stained my lips I'm trying to take it out um, this is the only shade that it stains the lips and it's because it has that pink tint to it but I mean it is what it is, it's a very pretty color. Okay my friends, so now to my final thoughts right here. These lipsticks are actually very soothing, they are creamy and emollient. In fact, Jacqueline Hill mentioned it, that these lipsticks have different type of oils and as you wear them you will feel your lips a lot better than what they begin with and yes they are very hydrating and more than hydrating i will feel i will say that emollient they are creamy very rich and part of the ingredients are castor seed oil it also has mango butter dinner i don't know what that means right there you also have sunflower seed wax uh, 
chia butter and at the very bottom of the list it also have collagen amino acids so um, the list of the ingredients is very large but those are the ingredients that kind of like grab my attention and to be honest with you I just made 20 swatches and my lips are not falling apart <laughs> they just feel very comfortable now I have a glass of water right here this is a creamy lipstick so it's not a matte lipstick it doesn't dry I'm sure it's transferable so let's just do one kiss right here and you can see it's there I need the water and you can see right there we have some lipstick so you will have to reapply these lipsticks that's for sure is uh, it will never dry up to be a matte lipstick that's not the intention of it and I'm okay with that because they feel really comfortable they have full opacity so as soon as you give one swipe as you could tell by the swatches it just gives you a straight pigmentation which i really appreciate now two shades on the collection that i find out to be very very similar are as if and nude af so this is nude af and this is as if and nude af is a little bit more neutral and then as if has a little bit more of a pinky undertone they are very very similar i mean going into so many nudes i mean 20 different shades it's hard to really you know make a big big bold statement and a big difference between shades but i think overall Jaclyn Hill had made a wonderful collection and it has made a difference on each of the shades. Now as far as comparisons goes, I have just received the collection so I was playing a little bit with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics nudes and actually the nudes from Jeffree Star they have a more of a pinky undertone while the ones from Jaclyn Hill they do have more of a neutral undertone but while I was playing with this collection I find actually a dupe of Pillow Talk. So this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and I think we have found a dupe for a lot less price and that is to the shade Perfectionist. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the bullet. They seem a little bit different but let me show you the swatch on my skin. So I have here this is Pillow Talk and this is Perfectionist. They are definitely pretty much the same thing. So I'm really happy that I was able to find these kind of like dupe right here. And I'm sure as I get to wear more of these lipsticks, I will be able to find out maybe more dupes on this collection. But other than that, my friends, I think this is an excellent product. Um, it's simple, a lipstick, creamy, emollient. Uh, really nice, very comfortable to wear and at a good price. And now if you have a stick right here until the end, thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also leave your comments down below. Let me know if you plan to grab anything from this collection or if you already got something, if you're in love with it or what are your thoughts about it. And before you leave, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Here you will find a lot of great things from reviews to, to hauls and everything that has to do with beauty. And now this is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.